Charles J. I'm not afraid to lose my life. If you want advice from me, don't get too caught up in these streets. Cause in that water it get deep and ain't no motherfucking sleep. Either you a wolf or you a sheep. A sheep. Why you take my homie life away? It don't make you a killer cause you got a pistol. I know some real ones that would never see the light of day. It ain't shit sweet, this ain't no motherfucking slice of cake. All this pain in my voice, I know you feel me. My best friend is on death row and that shit kills me. Y'all gonna remember my name. Every time I see the police, yeah, I feel like this might be the end of me, yeah. Lord, forgive my enemy. Said I'm so sick of feeling this pain that I feel. I know you're not here, but this just don't seem real. I remember walking down the hicks and going half on the blunt. What you know about perfect dolls? I'll forever love you, I just had to let you know. I'll forever love you, I just had to And it to was all you know. for a purpose. Mama told me go to the service. And daddy wanted me to wear a jersey Instead of writing verses At least I ain't sneaking in women's purses For a purchase I remember that night he damn near murked me I was 15 at the time Now I'm damn near 30 And the Lord was right on time He was damn near early I could've took his life But that man wasn't worth it And my waves so deep They damn near curly You ain't never heard me Turn me up This the moment Listen, little homie If you don't like this Then you're phony I ride the beat Like I'm sitting on a donkey he say he won't fool for thought, throw his ass a biscuit, he hungry. This is my moment, and I'm just trying to take advantage. So much pain from a past, I wish that I could make it vanish. If I could make a wish, it'd be to talk face to face with Granny and ask her for advice on what I need to do to save my I'm family. not afraid to lose my life. Why you take my homie life away? It don't make you a killer, cause you got a pistol. I know some real ones that would never see the light of day. It ain't shit sweet, this ain't no motherfucking slice of cake. All this pain in my voice, I know you feel me. My best friend is on death row and that shit kills me. Y'all gonna remember my name. And we need some peace. Every time I see the police, yeah. I feel like this might be the end of me. Lord, forgive my enemy Said I'm so sick of feeling this pain that I feel I know you're not here, but this just don't seem real I remember walking down the hicks and going half on the blunt What you know about perfect dolls I'll forever love you, I just had to let you know I'll forever love you, I just had to let you know What it do, what it do. It's 903 Boxing. I'm your host, Charles J. Say, man, shout out to my audience. Shout out to those that's rocking with me. Yeah, we back in the kitchen. There's a whole lot of goddamn sauce in this pot, man. Let's get to the shite. Uh, Tank Davis. Tank Davis versus Lamont Roach's official NH time. I'm talking about H time, not H town, not Houston. H time, time, T I N E. Anyway, um, yes, yeah, official, and I got a lot of thoughts on it. Um, a lot of thoughts, a lot of thoughts. Um, as I've been saying lately, it's been a lot of disappointments in boxing, a lot of fights we ain't been getting, of course. Um, you know. Um, but we breeze past that shit like, oh, we just keep arguing. We keep arguing and we want to still debate and we just want to win the debate. So, um, yeah, I'm solo dolo in this shit, bro. I got my own thoughts. Uh, my thoughts are not led by no motherfucker's opinion. Uh, I'm telling you, I'm through with you, Devin Haney, motherfucker. I'm, I'm just going to say it. Um, Tank fans love to say it's Bill, the reason why they don't like Devin. 
uh, Devin Haney fans are making it very hard. <laughs> you know, you motherfuckers just, um, that's why I say every fan base is a contradiction. Devin Haney fans are becoming like Terrence Crawford fans before the Earl Spence fight. Just stubborn, scorned, uh, hurt, uh, just, just, just battered and bruised and just, I remember when my heart broke. That's Devin Haney fans right now. And they remember that shit. So it's hard for me to, because you motherfuckers just got selective outrage. Um, I just don't want to ever get away from the agenda. Um, I have a black agenda, not a Devin Haney agenda. I want to make that very clear. And I'm going to say it one more motherfucking time. I have a black agenda, not a Devin Haney agenda. You motherfuckers got a Devin Haney agenda. Um, yeah, you got a Devin Haney agenda. Um, nah, bro, it don't never get that deep for me. Um, I understand that uh, it's content creators, it's channels, it's people that are close to uh, uh, Bill and Devin. I get all that stuff, bro. But um, nah, bro, it ain't. We We just go too far, bro. Um, we just go too goddamn far. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, Devin Haney fans, um, I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I just would like to see Devin back in the ring, bro. But all this extra shit and looking for somebody to take out, uh, pain out on. Uh, this black bro, I ain't got time for that shit. You motherfuckers ain't trying to uh, go at the commission. You ain't trying to go at Oscar them and Golden Boy and Eddie Hearn and Match Room them. You motherfuckers just want to go at Tank. That's how Devin Haney fans. They just some Tupac Biggie, uh, Bud Crawford shit. This some uh, yeah, this some shit like that, bro. I ain't with that shit. You motherfuckers just want to go at Tank. You don't want to never. So it is what it is, bro. Um, it, it's a major thing against Tank for fighting Lamar Roach, and I just want to be the first to say, and I don't think many people have said this, um, I like it. Shout out to Javante Tank Davis. Uh, shout out to you, bro. Want to make something very clear. I just want, yeah, it ain't the black fighter we want, uh, that we've been calling for, but it's a black fighter. Shout out to it, bro. Shout out to putting money in Lamar Roach's pocket. This is somebody that's been fighting hard to the top and got some. Ain't got some, and I can break that shit down. And I'm gonna get to that later. I'm gonna break down the styles and all that stuff. But uh, shout out to you for putting money in another black fighter's uh pocket. Uh, you did it with Frank, now you're doing it with uh Lamont Rose. I love it, I love it because this could have easily been another uh fighter from somewhere else that we don't know of, and you motherfuckers wouldn't have said nothing about that. So I don't know, black fan. We got to decide if we're going to be black or we just going to be black with a certain fighter. Are we going to be black or we just going to be black with a certain fighter? Um, You motherfuckers need to really look up to turn pro black and understand what that shit mean. I know most of black fans in boxing and just black people anywhere are not pro black. I get it. But if you are pro black and you consider yourself pro black, you should be straight with this fight. Yeah, Shakur hurt, hurt his hand. Yeah, I wish he had a center offer before Shakur hurt his hand. Uh, Devin doing some other shit. Yeah, why not Lamont Roach? Why fucking not? I much prefer it over that Isaac Cruz rematch shit. Um, you know, a lot of people talk that shit. Isaac Cruz already had a loss and a draw before he fought Tank. Nobody knew him or none of that shit, but we accepted that shit. So, yeah, uh, he got a loss to Jamel Heron. We keep bringing that shit up like it's, that's the excuse why uh, he has no uh, uh, reason to be in the ring with um, with uh, Tank. Well, Jamel Heron is a form, former champion. Uh, the dude that Isaac Cruz lost to is not a former champion. So, we just got to get our excuses and our, um, our, um, our shit together, bro. Um, this is one of the very few times where I'm not going to bash Tank. Uh, I am not a Tank fan. I'm a fan of him in the ring, but I am not a Tank fan. Uh, but no, nah, bro. Um, it don't get that deep for me, bro. I don't like Coach Calvin and Kenny I, right, but I, I don't like Coach Calvin. I don't like him. I don't. Just too much monkey shit he said. Uh, don't really like him, but 
it just ain't that deep for me. I got way more disdain for uh, Tio Fimolo. And and speaking of Tio, let's get to this shit. Tio is on It Is What It Is podcast with Cameron and Mace. And uh, so I checked it out. And I wasn't looking for it. I just happened to stroll, scroll across and I said, man, let me look at this shit. So I look at the I look at the interview and you know they they bring in you know we know they're gonna bring up that Loma win. That you know I just realized that shit damn near five years ago. That motherfucker still riding off in the sunset off that way. <laughs> hey, that shit was during COVID. It wasn't no crowd, no nothing. TO would never stop. I'm telling you, ten years from now, bro, you gonna see it. that motherfucker still gonna be talking about that Loma fight. And even though I was biased at the time, I'm going to be honest, I was riding with, because this before you started acting like a, you know, and showed his true colors. I was riding with T.O. over there, Loma shit. I was riding with him, and in my biasness, I didn't want to admit that, bro, Loma did not look right. Didn't want to admit it. I never wanted to admit it because I didn't like Loma, and they tried to say he was better than Floyd, and uh, and uh, Bob Ram saying he was greater than Ali. I didn't like him, uh, so I rode with T.O., but truthfully speaking, bro, we can keep talking about how you won, and you won very convincingly. The version of Loma that Teofimo fought is nowhere near compared to the version that Loma, that Devin fought. The version that Devin fought, Loma fought like his life depended. That is one of the best performances of, of Loma's career when he fought Devin. I still think he lost, but Loma put on a fucking hell of a performance. He didn't fight Teo like that. Didn't fight him like that. He was on the back foot, and he didn't throw many punches. Uh, shoulder injury or not, I don't know about all that. I ain't going to go that deep. But that wasn't the same moment that fought Devin. I think Devin fought a better version. We can keep saying you won more conventionally, and yeah, maybe the fight was a little closer with Devin and Loma, but Devin fought a much better version of Loma. So you quit trying to ride off that shit, and you keep talking about that Josh Taylor shit, bro. We just saw what Jack Catterall did to him, bro. Just speed, bro, and your little reflexes, bro. Uh, Josh Taylor's food, so we keep talking about them two wins as if it separated you. I want to make something very clear, and I just want to say it. And I'm tired of people because I don't want to ever get that way, bro. Tank do monkey shit, and he has a very monkey mentality. I get it. But I don't ever want it to get so deep that I discredit the man. In my opinion, Tank Davis got a better resume then in a way and T.O. to me we keep because T.O.'s whole resume is Loma Chinko and Josh Taylor Loma wasn't the Loma that fought Devin that shit is dismissed and you didn't do no spectacular shit when you look at that fight bro that it wasn't no action packed fight it wasn't a lot of shit you fought straight straight out reflexes and power bro no IQ it that wasn't ring IQ Loma never made you dig deep Loma made Devin dig deep. Loma never pressed the gas, none of that shit. And like I said, Josh Taylor was slow, old, been at 140 too long. It wasn't no hell of a win, bro. I can name 10, I can name at least seven to eight fighters at 140 that beats Josh Taylor. So your two wins that we trying to act like separates you from some shit, bro, that's bullshit to me. And you want to you wanna know some real shit? I think Tank beating Mario Barrios is a much better win than T.O. beating Josh Taylor. And I think uh, Tank beating Mario Barrios is a better win than when T.O. beat Loma. That's just me. Because T.O. was much bigger than Loma, and Loma wasn't Loma. And like I said, Barrios was much bigger than Tank. We got to stop that shit, bro. We got to stop. We got to stop just choosing a black fighter to just be pro-black with. We going to either be pro-black or we just ain't going to be black at all. I just don't know. <laughs> you motherfuckers pick and choose. You some choosy lover motherfuckers. And uh, no, nah, Pimpin', I'm solo dolo. I can't get on the Devin Haney bandwagon. Can't do it. You motherfuckers too different for me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, what the fuck? So, yeah. Oh, and let me explain this. Why I think Tank's uh, resume is better. I've explained why his resume is better than... Uh, uh, and I think Pedraza win is a better win than anything on T.O.'s resume. I think the Pedraza win is a better win. And even though I think Isaac Cruz wasn't the shit, I think Tank beating Isaac Cruz with a hurt hand, 
I think that's a better win than anything that Teofimo Lopez has ever done or in a way has ever done. We take that jumping weight classes too fucking far. It's about who you beat. And I'll be out of in a way's career is beating cool boy Steph. Or oh, you can count the 40 year old no need dinner. You can count that. But it's really cool boy Steph. That's the measuring stick where all black folks feel like we had to say he top three now. Since then, he's done nothing but beat no name fighters, bro. Uh, his resume, he ain't never beat nobody better than Pedraza to me. Uh, 40, 40 year old Denner, maybe a 35 year old Denner. And maybe I'd have gave you a little more credit. No, nah, bro. Um, nah, we can, we forget, bro. Uh, Tank don't have a Hall of Fame resume, but he got a good resume. Shit. He got a good resume. I'm going to tell you another thing, bro. People really sleep on Hector Garcia was really good. Hector Garcia, Hector Garcia was actually a good fighter. His only mistake, I knew. I said, Hector Garcia can give Tank problems. He fucked up when he started getting mid range. If when he kept his distance, he did a very Hit Garcia has a high ring IQ. Real shit. Uh when he started mixing it up. When he tried to bang, that was the biggest and I think he underestimated Tank's power. Hit Garcia was not a slouch. Tank just I'm gonna tell you something, bro. A lot of these dudes are not soft. Tank just make them look like they ain't shit. Even Frank Martin is a good fighter. Tank made him look like he ain't shit. That's that's special. That's why I say the boy's, the boy's special. And even though, like I say, I, I don't like him outside the ring. Tank, you can argue that he's the best fighter of this era, bro. You can really argue that shit. You can argue, bro, that he's the best of the crop. Got to prove it. I ain't finna say that shit or stamp that shit. Tank's special, though, bro. And 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 I and, and I'm just telling you, bro, um, he's capable of beating anybody. Tank Davis is capable of going to 147 and arguably beating Boot. I'm, I'm going to say it. When you talk about that 4K shit, when you talk about Devin Haney, Shakur, Tank, and uh, Teofimo Lopez, if I had to pick a fighter out of them four that beats Boots, I think Boots beat all of them, though. But if it was a fighter out of them four that I say can beat Boots, Tank can beat Boots. I, I, I said it. I, I said Boots like the bang. Boots can box. Boots like the bang. And I think Boots can hurt Tank. Tank got a fucking granite chin, though. Tank can put anybody to sleep. I think Tank can put a middleweight to sleep. Um, Tank is the hardest puncher in boxing. Uh, Tank Davis is a top five puncher of all time. I said it. Tank Davis is a top five puncher of all time. I think he a better puncher than Wilder. I said it. And I think he hit harder, and I think he's a better puncher. I think he hit harder. It, it, his size and his what? He hit harder, and he's a better puncher than Wilder. Um, top three. Tank is a top three puncher of all time. I, I said it before. I think Tank Davis better than Mike Tyson. That just me prime Mike. I think Tank better. Higher ring IQ. That that's the that's the biggest thing people sleep on when it comes to Tank. Tank got a very high ring IQ. Very high. Tank Davis would make him so dangerous. He got a high ring IQ, and nothing is too big for him. No moment is too big for him. Tank. It, it, he come in the middle of, in the middle of fire. Uh, Shakur do that a lot too. But Tank is very calm, and he got a high ring IQ in the way he sets you up. And knowing I can, when in, especially when he know I can take your shots, bro, he going to set you up. And I ain't seen nobody hurt him. So it's danger, bro. Um, I can't sleep on him. I can't, I, can't, I can't try to belittle that shit like that shit ain't shit. I think Tank has a better resume than, in a way than Teofimo Lopez. And I said that. And I think Devin... I think Devin being Regis was a better win than that Josh Taylor shit and that Loma shit. Regis was, I that that is the most that is the most that's one of the most underrated wins that I've seen in the last couple of years in Devin Haney's defense. Being Regis pro grade that is one of the most underweight, and I think that's the most flawless. Devin Haney looked, 
he looked that night i said tank can't fuck with him that was the night out of every night <laughs> it wasn't the cambo the cambos and shit i was like okay it's gonna be hard tank tank gonna have a hard time catching Devin because the defense was on point especially in the first Cambosis fight. But when he beat Regis and he stepped on him and dropped his ass, nobody, people still say, you know, it's crazy. People say he's still pillow fisted, but he dropped Regis and hurt him three or four times in that fight. They still say he pillow fisted. I ain't never seen nobody do that to Regis. Not Josh Taylor, nobody. I ain't never seen nobody do that to Regis. Devin Haney looked top three pound for pound in that fight. That performance, that version of Devin Haney was better than Shakur. Better than Tank, better than T.O., better than all that shit. And so after that, he was cheated. So I get it, bro. Um, Devin Honey has been wrongfully done, bro. Yes, things he's done that I said I disagree with. Like that dance when the court said they suspended him, the celebration dance. Thought it was soft. Uh, a lot of shit, bro. Uh, it's certain shit I don't agree with, bro. I'm not a yes man. But uh, the boy was done wrong. And um, now you're suing them and everybody talking shit. Um, I just want to see you bounce back, bro. It, no matter what I disagree with, you, with what Devin Haney does, bro, I'm all for you, bro. I want to see you win. I want to see Tank win, too, though. I can't. I, that that section off shit, I want to see Tank win. I want to see Devin win. I want to see Shakur win in life, bro. I want to see your brothers eat. And I'm happy for Lamont Roach once again, bro. I am happy that this brother is going to get paid. Uh, he, he, and he deserves it. And he's a world champion. So now, um, but back to T.O. Uh, Cameron and Mace, uh, <laughs> you motherfuckers brought T.O. on that. And you know another thing? You motherfuckers soft. That's why I don't trust OGs no more. I'm t <laughs> you motherfuckers soft. Um, you know, I don't even use the N word, but I'm just going to say, this, this is what Cameron said it twice, too. Uh... He was like, yo, 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 yo. I'm just trying to see. Why did you call these two niggas monkeys? What? Hey, 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 yo, T.O. Yo, yo, yo. I'm just trying to see why you call these two niggas monkeys, yo. Yo, T, this shit's crazy, son. No, bro. What? So anyway, T.O. was like, well, I mean, Tank called himself a gorilla. So I was just calling him what, and I was just spicing things up and this and that, this and that. It's just a mate. And listen, bro, um, it it's just amazing how they laugh with that shit. And since you trying to act like y'all friend, that was a friendly call out. That was so friendly. You friendly, uh, friendly uh, called this motherfucker out on the monkey comments and laugh with him about it. And and if you're going to bring up all that, why didn't you bring up when he said that Bob Burn can keep the black fighters? That ain't his first comment uh, against black folks. Uh, why you didn't ask him why he defended Ryan when he cheated? So, bro, um... Cameron and Mace, bro. Y'all, y'all some funny dudes. Um, but nah, bro, y'all didn't check a bitch ass thing. If anything, bro, y'all laugh with them about it. So it is what it is, bro. Um, we the only ones that do that. You can talk about our people and then get an interview with one of our biggest platforms. And motherfuckers laugh with you about it. We the only ones you can do that shit to. So um yeah, Cameron and Mace been Hollywood. Uh, Mace been fucking with Diddy for years. Bro, it's a lot of shit. Uh, that dipshit shit, bro. Them motherfuckers Hollywood, bro. Jim Jones, all them motherfuckers, them motherfuckers Hollywood, bro. And y'all yeah, like dipshit. And Joel Santana and them was the shit. And JR. Yeah, and all them there. And shit. Um, that was the shit. But uh, motherfuckers Hollywood, bro. Uh, I don't trust no rapper. So, you know. But yeah, you motherfuckers. Um, <laughs> T.O. a sucker. T.O., you are so jealous of a black man. It's it's pathetic. You are so jealous. And you're not intellectual. That's another thing about it. That's another reason why you're not a star. And you damn near say, you sounded like Mary J. Oh, I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna shed no. That's how you sound. You know, I mean, I, I'm the best, but, you know, it's like they try to hide me. I'm like the hidden... Uh, this and they just don't promote me and I'm just you know no bro you're just not a star bro and why they don't never talk about how your country is your country behind you why you ain't had a fight in your country 
So it's a lot of shit, bro. But you know, we always try to say uh, we don't support it. But I'ma leave that alone. But Till's a sucker, and we a sucker for giving him a microphone to talk in. Just like we give Ryan a, a mic to talk in. Uh, like I say, bro, the way Devin was done is very uh, fucked up. But um, Devin, you got work to do, bro. Good to see Bill back talking this shit. I like it. I love it. Uh, we definitely need it. Uh, nobody promoted Devin like Bill. But uh, we just got to decide, bro, if we going to be black or we just going to be pro fighter or some shit or however it's going to be. But uh, I have a black agenda, and I want to see all these brothers succeed. Uh, just black man, period. I just want to see a black man succeed, and I want to see him fall. So even if he is a sucker, I don't really want to see another black man fall. So uh, shout out to Lamont Roach, bro. Um, and I've watched you get better, bro. I've seen the hunger. Lamont Roach, bro. I, I just love it. And, and, and yeah, I thought having it in the DMV was the shit. And now I'm biased because it's in Texas. And you goddamn right I'm pulling the fuck up. So, yeah, I, I am very excited about this. I am extremely, I am very excited about this fight. I am excited. And I'm happy for another brother getting paid, bro. Um, So many fighters go their whole career. Jamal Heron went his whole career without getting a big payday. Lamont Roach is finna do with very few fighters, especially black fighters, will ever get an opportunity to get a payday like this. And I th and Frank Martin was never even a world champion. I think he's more deserving of it than Frank Martin, Rolly Romero, Isaac Cruz. More more deserving of it than a lot of motherfuckers. So, you know. But uh, this Tank and Devin shit, this this Crippin' Blood, Tupac Biggie bullshit. Um. Uh, Nah, bro, uh, you ain't got to pick a side, bro. Uh, it's a lot of shit both of them do that I don't like. Both of them do monkey shit. Just like Devin when he was at the zoo talking about had a monkey and said, hey, tank and shit. We all do monkey shit. But we so monkey-fied. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We so... <laughs> yeah, we so monkey-fied. Uh, we don't even notice when another motherfucker call us a monkey. And then use the excuse, well, tank call itself a monkey. That's what... T.O.'s excuse for calling him a tank of monkey is, well, he got it tatted on himself. He called himself a monkey. Ain't that what white folks say? Well, they call it each other. And white boy Latin. That, that's a year old. Like, that motherfucker studied. He studied them folks. Uh, but anyway, but try to use our athleticism in the black backflips and the type of phase and shit. You know, but anyway, it is what it is. But uh, I like to fight with a tank and uh, Lamont Roche, bro. Uh, and shout out to you for putting money in this pocket, but um, it is what it is. But uh, like, I want to make something very clear. I'm not saying like I'm just super excited about the fight, uh, but it's a good fight. It's a good fight, and I think Lamont Roach is more technically sound than Frank Morton, and I think he ain't gonna back down. Lamont Roach a dog. He ain't gonna back down like Frank Mo Frank Morton back down. The moment was too big for him. Surprisingly, in this fight. I, I definitely got Tank winning. This moment won't be too big for Lamont. I'm, like I say, I'm happy for the brother. I am true. And I'm not the biggest Lamont Roach fan. I, I've just been, he been growing on me. And like I say, bro, I, I just, I, I'm just happy for you, bro. I'm I'm definitely happy for you. And so you did behind these motherfuckers and all you other motherfuckers and, and a lot of you motherfuckers. I'm calling out black fans on this shit. All you motherfuckers is acting like this some bullshit. I'm calling all you motherfuckers out and you fucking a contradiction. Just, just stop it, bro. Just stop. He, that motherfucker gave Roley a fucking payday. Roley here had 14 fights, had never been a world champ, had never done a motherfucking thing but talk. So, uh, motherfucker come over here and learn. So, what I'm saying is, uh, nah, bro, uh, I can be happy for, uh, a brother from the DMV named Lamont Rose getting a fucking shot, bro. Uh, yeah, I wanted the Gary Russell fight back in the game and it didn't happen. But, yeah, we gonna get Lamont Rose. I love it. Matter of fact, I do love it. I love it because another bad black man getting paid. I love it. So, uh, yeah. Talk that shit. Uh, Tank doing something Devin and uh, uh, Shakira both ain't did. You know? So, uh, he done fought two black fighters back to back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tank, Tank may be the monkey of boxing, but he fighting. He, he putting money in two black fighters back to back. Yeah, at this point, I'm damn not saying it like a Tank. <laughs> but it is what it is, bro. We just... 
We got to be real sometimes at least, bro. Just sometimes in life, you motherfuckers just got to put the fucking bananas down and stop slipping on them and just tell it like it is, bro. Telling it like it is. I ain't going to lie. I know, I know, I know. They think I'm crazy, baby. Telling it like it is. I ain't going to lie. I know, I know, I know. They think I'm crazy, baby. Listen, man. Um, yeah, the fight, the fight, cool, bro. Um, but yeah, we we give so many motherfuckers a pass, but you motherfuckers want to shit on Lamont Roach, bro. Uh, get a brother a chance, bro. You done gave many other motherfuckers with weight, with flags, and all kind of other shit a shot. So let's let's get a brother a shot, bro. Uh, but I'm telling you, bro. Tank, in my opinion, got one of the best resume. When you really dissect this shit, Tank got a better resume than most of these dudes, bro. I only think Devin. I can argue that Devin and Shakur resume is better. I think Devin resume better than Tank. Uh, Shakur resume, arguably, arguably better than Tank's. But I don't think Tio's is better. Um, only dudes that got a better resume than Tank is Earl, Bud. Earl, but Earl, but Devin Shakur. It ain't many other fighters, bro, that got a better resume than Tank. So, uh, I just had to debunk that, bro, because sometimes, yeah, he ain't fighting who we want. Well, Canelo ain't either. There's a lot of motherfuckers ain't fighting who we want them to fight. But Tank got just as good a resume. Is in it. And I think Tank, when you look at the last three to four years before all that Kodo and all that Sugar Shane Mosley and fighting all these old legends and fuck all that Triple G shit, over the last three years, bro, Tank has had a better resume than Canelo. The only fucking thing he has done is beat a fucking Kayla Plant for Undisputed, who turned around and lost to David Benavidez. Canelo ain't done a bitch ass thing. Not a motherfucking thing. Bro, that's. Tank, uh, Canelo is in arguably the easiest division in boxing, bro. Easy. When he was at 160, it was the easiest division in boxing, bro. When he was at 154, it was stiff, but he didn't fight everybody. He didn't fight neither Charlo. He fought Austin Trout and moved the fuck out that shit. A lot of shit. I'm telling you another thing. Bro, Jared Harry would have gave Canelo a tough fight back in the game. It's a lot of motherfuckers, bro. He didn't fight. So I'm going to leave that alone, bro. All that Callum Smith shit and that Liam Smith shit and all that Rocky Field and shit, bro. All that shit is garbage. So, <laughs> you know, we get... Uh, most of you motherfuckers that say uh, Tank resume is trash, you got Canelo top five. Canelo ain't better than Tank. It is never a point... There is no point at Canelo's career where he was better than Tank. Not better. Don't have the ring IQ. Don't have the skill. Uh, he got good upper body movement, and I like his guard. It's a tight guard, and it's hard to get around that shit with the hook. That's it. You're not skilled like Tank. You don't you don't have the punch selection, the punch placement, the accuracy. That's what makes Tank a top three puncher of all time, in my opinion. At least top at least at least top five puncher of all time. It's the accuracy, the precision. It's the punch placement. It's the reflex. Tank is one of the best punchers of all time. So uh, I'm just giving the credit where it's, where it's due, you know, whether I like you or not. Uh, I give credit where it's due, but uh, of course, yeah, motherfuckers still want Devin versus Tank. Motherfucker wants Shakur versus Tank. You know another thing? I prefer this Lamont Rose versus Tank fight over a fucking Tank versus T.O. That bitch don't deserve to get paid. Like I say, bro, you want to wear a table phase and culture vulture and, and, and jock out style and do all this hating ass shit and yeah, talking about because uh, you got a cousin that's married to a... Uh, that is married to a black man so how can you be right bro nobody want to hear none of that shit you don't deserve to eat ryan and Tio should never get another black payday for the rest of their career if you ask me so i much prefer lamont roach over a fucking Tio. because i got tank stopping them either way so yeah we got them stopping lamont roach i got them stopping Tio. i got them stopping any other non-black fighter i'm telling you, bro, it's gonna take a shakur bro no non-black fighter beats tank None. I'm telling you, bro, 
Tank could take over 140 right now. Tank Tank could go to 147 and be a major problem. I'm finna say some wild shit. I'm finna tell you some wild shit. Tank Davis. This is some, some crazy shit. And it's a hell of a fight. Tank Davis will beat Brian Norman Jr. He'll stop him. And, and that's a hell of a fight. Tank Davis, and, and at this point, I'm not uh, I'm not very fun. I shout out to Brian Norman Jr., but I really don't like Brian Sr. because he capping and he really jealous of Boots. And you wish your son had that kind of sauce. No disrespect to Junior, but Senior, you really jealous of Boots. And you really played your son. You played yourself like a sucker. And that little uh, uh, toe and service business you got, bro, yeah, you may have that in a few detail shops and a goddamn tire shop, bro, but that don't make you very, that don't mean you business savvy, pimping, and you missed your son out on a 1.7, 1.5, whatever you want to call it, after the taxes and all that third, you fucked over your son, bro. So I never respect Brian Sr., but I still like Brian Jr. Uh, Brian Norman Jr. versus Tank Davis would be a fucking, one of, one of the best fights you've seen in the last couple of years. Tank Davis versus, and Tank will stop him. But it'll be a wall. Tank Davis stops Brian Norman Jr. at 147. Stops him. But it's a wall. But he stops him. That's how great Tank is, bro. Tank, out of all the four kings, he the, he the man to beat Boots. I don't know if you can do it. I, I, I don't know if I'd pick you to beat him or say you will beat him. But out of all of them, bro, Tank is the one. I love that, and the boxing would give Boots a problem. The boxing and all that third with Shakur and there, they would give him a problem, bro. I, I don't know. I don't. I think both of them would give him a lot of trouble. But I give Tank the best chance. Not that he better than Devin and Shakur, because I don't think he better than them. But the power and the skill, it's the power that Boots will have to really worry about. And Boots could get trapped into a wall and get hit with them uppercuts and it'll send him to the upper room. Yeah. <laughs> Tank one of them, bro. T.O. don't have no defense, bro. That should have never worked on Tank. You got to have defense. That's for one. You can't fight fire with fire with Tank. That shit going to get your ass clipped. No, it'll take Devin, Tank. I mean, it'll take Devin, Shakur, Boots, Them no, that's it. Devin Shakur boots. Nobody else beats him. So, but yeah, Devin, you need to get back in the ring, bro. Sharpen your shit. Uh, hope Shakur come back from his uh, hand injury uh, pretty soon. But you gotta sharpen your shit, bro. Cause one thing about it, Tank stand act, stand active. He stand active. Uh, Tank is in his prime, bro. And if I had to pick right now. Right now, who's the best of all of them? I got Tank Davis. And it ain't just because cause Devin lost the round, even though it was wrongfully done. But nah, bro, I, you got to get back in the ring and sharpen your shit still, though. You got to get back and prove that you are that you are great, bro, that you are that guy. Because right now, bro, Tank got mo Tank is coming off that frame one perform where he dogged him. Nah, right now, Tank the front runner. So... Uh, yeah, I like Devin Haney more than Tank, but I ain't, I'm not delusional. Right now, Tank is the front runner, and uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm telling you, bro, uh, Tank Davis is capable. I'm, I'm going to say some wild shit. Could we talk that Roberto Duran shit? Tank Davis is more than capable of beating Boots at 147. Tank Davis could go to 154 and be a problem. Um, <laughs> I'm just telling you, bro. That that I know it's wild, bro. That that I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I could see Tank at 154 causing some causing some shit. I don't know, Tank versus Earl at 154, Tank versus Bud at 154. I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. I just think, I think Tank that that special. I think he that fucking good. He'll be a problem at 154. We keep, T.O. keep calling out Bud and acting like, and people act like that shit is worth. 
Tank versus Bud is way more realistic. Even though T.O. is bigger and, he, and, and Tank not as big as T.O., Tank versus Bud is way more dangerous than a fucking T.O. versus Bud. T.O. will get... T.O. has no... You talking about somebody who has no defense. Don't have a high ring IQ. Never developed a jab. Fighting Bud? What the fuck? Tank versus Bud is actually more realistic. Tank in his own way. You in your own fucking way, bro. That's the that's the biggest disappointment. When you want to talk real shit, uh, Tank is in his own way. That's my biggest dip. I, I know you the truth, bro. I know you spell Tank being Devin is not a shocker to me. Him being Shakur is not a shocker. I just think Devin and Shakur beats him. But Tank special, bro. I'm just telling you, bro. Um, it's gonna be hard to beat him. He can take a shot, and he and, and it's hard to take his, bro. Um, but yeah, bro, he better than in a way better than that to shit. None of that shit is better than Tank, bro. I'm just telling you, none of that shit. And like I said, bro, I, I let me, if, if Tank choose to uh, fight Lamar Rose, then Shaky Foster. And then fight Prince Albert Bill. I'd be okay with that shit. That's better than fighting three more motherfuckers from a whole nother with a whole nother flag. I'd rather that shit. So like I said, we gotta choose if we gonna be black. Well don't just be black with a certain fighter. So like I said, I'm out for the brother getting his money. Shout out to Lamar Rose versus Tyne Davis in Houston. It's going down in H time. This is 903 Boston. I'm your host, George J. With that, I'm out.